All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. You're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 mystery Icelandic film called Operation Napoleon, based on a novel which I strongly believe is based around an old World War II conspiracy. And I won't go any further than that for spoilers. But here's the plot. A lawyer is sucked into an international conspiracy after being accused of murder. She didn't commit. And her only chance of survival lies in uncovering the secret of an old World War II German airplane discovered on Iceland's the largest glacier. Now here's some of the cast. You know, for what it was, this film was pretty entertaining, despite the flaws. The acting was great, no surprise there considering the cast, which you may or may not recognize, but I have, I recognize some of them. I believe they're like uh, Scandinavian, from different Scandinavian countries of uh, actors, so they're not going to be very popular, well known in the US uh, or even maybe Canada or wherever you are. But um, most likely you'll recognize them maybe in Europe and stuff. But I recognize them because I've done a lot of Scandinavian-based uh, shows on here. And even some movies, but mostly shows. And I think that's where I recognize them from. But this requires subtitles as they go back and forth with Icelandic and English speaking. Which is fine normally, but this time around it was hard to fully get involved in the story because of how fast the subtitles was moving at least for the first part of the film. I definitely question when she was in plain view in the store stealing a hoodie. Funny how no one saw her despite the cashier woman being right there. I also did find the soundtrack and score being an odd choice in the first 20 to 30 minutes of the film. Didn't fit the mood and took me out of the story. Uh, at least until I started to get fully uh, as immersed after the after that though I also questioned the one agent throughout the film especially in the first part of the film he had many chances to shoot her just opening the door could have ended the film right there even after in the kitchen honestly the writing of the first 20 to 30 minutes felt lazy to me in my opinion the final climax scene logics in spots was also questionable, but still pretty cool to watch. Here's my rating, I'll come back to my final thoughts. Was kind of sluggish at times to be honest, but as a fun, entertaining story, it was good. Not the top best things in this year or past year year before but it's definitely something that uh needs fixing and i do understand that they are going to be doing uh, by the look of it a sequel hopefully they continue with that um but it, it kind of seems like it was going to um, like very strongly but um yeah if you're looking for something to just have something on, something fun that you're not expecting, like a big blockbuster type of thing. This is definitely one of those fun type of films. It's not like a comedy type of fun type of film, but it's definitely a action type of kind of more drama uh, mystery to it. Um, so I do, I do recommend it. But uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, remember I love you all. Please stay safe. Skull.